Let's have a look at installing Oracle 23 AI virtual machine. So if we go to the main web page for it, so one of the many locations where you can locate it is going to be at the database and database 23 AI free. So this is kind of a free version of the database that comes available. So what we can do is we can go to the virtual box uh, image and we can click on that and start to download. Now, after that has finished downloading, what we can do is we can then import it. Okay. So in order to import it, we can say go up to, um, in VirtualBox, we can go up to import appliance. So when we import appliance, what we can do is we can specify the go to our downloads folder when we can find the image that we just downloaded. And once we click on that, there's a couple of little steps just to check. The first one is to do with uh, just generate new MAC addresses for all your um, network adapters and we can go finish. Okay, so this is just kind of, do you agree with the terms? Uh, so it's non-commercial uh, purposes and I'll kick off and start the import. Now this will take a few minutes to, to import. So depending on the speed in your machine and how much memory and disk space you have, um, it might take slightly longer. So we can see it progressing there. So we can follow the progress bar. So I'm just going to pause the video while it completes. So about five minutes has passed and what we can see is that the image has been imported. So to start it up, or kind of maybe just a couple of things to check before we actually start it up. Uh, the first one is just make sure the memory is set to at least four gigs. So this is where you need a machine with at least six gigs of RAM, maybe eight gigs of RAM. Um, and there's a couple of other things we can come back and, and set at a later point. So we're going to kick that off. We're going to start the, the virtual machine. So the first time you start it up, it may take a minute or two, but subsequent startups will be relatively kind of quick and straightforward for you. So we just uh, let that finish starting up the server. We just kind of the Linux server part of it. Once that has all started uh, or completed, um, it can then look at starting the database services. So this will all be happening in the background for you. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Um, there's no password for the main uh, user that, that we're dealing with. So it should go straight in to um, our screen. Um, or we just you know, resize that. Um, now the first time you go into it, there may be some pop-ups, some additional pop-ups, but we can kind of ignore some of those for now. Uh, the first one that, that's of particular interest is the information that's in this terminal window. Okay, um, so this is just some of the uh, pop-ups that happen. You know, again, after your first uh, login, these won't these won't be happening again for you. Okay, um, so let's just uh, minimize that. We'll come back to that in a moment. So there's a few things that are interesting in this terminal window is that we get to see what the database is and also what's the most important thing is, well, what password do I need to use first? Okay, uh, and our pluggable kind of database in there. Now we have an icon here that we can use to connect to SQL command line. So if we want to use uh, SQL and we're going to connect to the, the database kind of basic manager, we can do so, which is called system, so the system schema. And we can do that and it'll automatically connect in to our pluggable kind of database for us. So when we go into this, hey, we're connecting to the database. We see it's 23.4.24.05. So that's the version that will contain uh, the stuff to do with vector search and, and stuff like that. And then we can check to see um, what the, the pluggable is. Oh. 
we get to see that we are in, in the pluggable. And what we can also do is show use of being able to show what we have. So that's a kind of a quick video of being able to import the 23 AI database into VirtualBox.